Hey, what's up guys? It's me JP and today's video I'm gonna share with you my mantis up for my breeding project and also how I clean my enclosures. Stick around guys. Right now, I'm with my mantis right here. I've got at least eight of them right now for my breeding project you have at least one two three four five females hyrodula species and at least three males right now So one is already on its adult form, so I'm gonna be breathing them soon. All right, so before I clean this enclosures right here, so I've created some taggings right here. So this one is a female and it's a sub-adult as of March 8, 2021. So you got again i got like five females and then three males so i'm not sure how is that gonna work out but again i'm just gonna be breeding them and then most of them i'm gonna be releasing back to where i got these um specimens but i'll be keeping a lot of them for a project so all right so right now I'm gonna clean the enclosures of my mantis right here but the first thing that I do when I'm cleaning my mantis enclosure is of course getting rid <laughs> getting rid of the um, like the moles or the remaining foods the remaining like parts of the of their like feeders I don't know everything every bad stuff that is left after like the mantis so okay so this is one of the biggest females or sub adults that i have right now and it has like a very unique color so very yellowish with brown i don't know if it's like focused right now but there you go i'm gonna place her somewhere safe while i'm cleaning her enclosure again guys this is like a vlog style type of video so just stay with me okay okay so placing those molds into this plastic for maybe responsible <laughs> like throwing up trash I don't know but this is what I do okay so um, after like cleaning <laughs> The enclosure I make sure that it's dry and because also I use like directly from the tap water so I think um, it has chlorine so it might affect the mantis I don't know I'm just making sure so that's why I'm just you know like making sure that there's no water left with chlorine so there you go it's dry using a tissue and I just place my mantis right here on the side and then I'm gonna place her back so there she is there you go and then close so the enclosure is cleaned and that's how I do things or how I maintain their enclosure but this is just a setup with this type of setup so it depends on your um, enclosure for your mantis if you have some if you have an enclosure that has lots of like, decorations on it maybe substrate um, it might be harder to clean but whatever floats your boat whatever your style is go for it <laughs> so I'm gonna clean all of my enclosures right here I don't know if you can see them there you go I'm gonna clean them up I'm gonna get back to you guys after like a few minutes so some of them has um, like substrates so I'm gonna remove them so that the enclosure would be much like um, much easier to clean
Okay, so this is my first adult female right here. She is a bit small from usually um, from from this species. So usually the species can reach about like three to four inches, but she's a bit undersized, but she's still gorgeous right here. Yeah, sorry about the background noise. By the way, guys, while I'm cleaning up my enclosure right here, why don't you share your ways? on how you can like how you maintain your mantis enclosure please comment down below your ways because on my end it's kind of a bit tedious so let me see your suggestions or your ways so that maybe i could use it or maybe other viewers can use it so that they can have like a much um, faster way of cleaning or maintaining their enclosure or their mantis enclosure okay halfway there okay so all of the fill the substrate the tissues that I've used is in this plastic bag Sorry, it's in this plastic bag. So this type of things, maybe poop, um, leftovers of the mantis, like uh, the roaches and all of that. This can cause mold and it can kill your mantis. So please, 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 please clean your enclosure from time to time. At least maybe once a week, uh, once a week, or maybe once every two weeks. That so I'm done cleaning my enclosures right here, my mantis enclosures right here. So after this, I think I'm gonna feed them and I'm gonna put them back on that room. So, so thanks for watching, guys. But again, in this video, I mean, um, I just like shared with you how I clean my enclosure and there's maybe like different types of like enclosure maybe in the future video I can show you how to make one okay but in this video I just showed you my mantis up for breathing for my like breathing project so just wait for those videos I'm gonna share you like all of the things I'm gonna learn on, on what I'm gonna do with them so wish me luck guys with my breeding project all right so again thanks for watching guys and if you learned something today please share this video to your friends and subscribe thanks for watching bye now <laughs>